Hello, in this edition of Two Minute Tips, we're talking about the practicalities of risk management. Just like project management, this aspect of business is rarely formalized by SMEs. Putting in onerous risk management processes usually negates the benefit achieved by doing so. We believe the most successful SMEs are those that embed risk management into the organization from the get-go. So with two minutes on the clock, I'm gonna share how to get down to risky business. Risk management in your business is primarily dependent on one thing, and that's your appetite for risk. Risks should be related to things that could inhibit you from achieving your strategy. So the first tip is to look at your business aspirations and ask yourself three questions. Number one, what is the business vulnerable to? Number two, what causes this? And number three, what could the consequences be? This is essentially the identification of risk. The second tip then is to evaluate those risks. What's the likelihood of that occurring and what would the impact be if it did? Best practice would be to score both these elements using a defined scale so that you can compare your risks. If you multiply the scores together, the totals might help you prioritise which risks you need to address first. The third tip then is to respond to those risks depending upon your appetite. A common approach is the bow tie method. Map the causes and consequences when you identified the risk. Plotting out each risk helps you assess where you can either prevent a root cause from happening, known as avoidance, or instead reduce the impact of the consequences, known as mitigation. Lastly, you need to monitor and control how things are changing. As market conditions and the operating environment shift, you should be revisiting whether risks have increased or decreased on a regular basis. Now at the start, we use strategy for identifying risk, but emerging risks are often discovered through the general business operations. It's really important that you can establish an open culture where you're constantly listening to the views of staff and keeping abreast of goings on in your sector or industry so that you can deploy business activities in the most appropriate way. Risk management is about spending time and resource on the right activity to protect the business from loss. So just like any investment, if you're spending out more than you get in return, you might be better off just accepting the risk or alternatively insuring against it, also known as transferring. So our two minutes is up. If you'd like more details on how we can help you manage risk, strategy and more, head to the website for some free information and, do and downloads. Thanks for watching.